Still in the Atlantic, we have no areas we're watching for potential development. There has been a little bit of Saharan dust that we've been watching and tracking, and that Saharan dust also comes with dry air. So it suppresses tropical development or formation in the first place. But on the flip side, the Eastern Pacific, this became a hurricane first thing this morning. This is Hurricane Eric, which is actually, if you look at it, I know it's got some convection on the eastern side of this, but it has wrapped itself up pretty good today, and it's become a very compact storm in the middle. When we get these storm systems, these hurricanes rather, that tighten themselves up and become very compact, sometimes they can intensify a little bit quicker. So currently that storm has reached category two strength, which was earlier than what was predicted. What does that mean? Well, because it's reached category two strength earlier than predicted, and it still has a lot of territory left to go, this could become a major hurricane before landfall. Currently, it's a low end category two hurricane. And as we get look at tomorrow morning, closing in on landfall, it is forecast to become a major hurricane category three with winds of 115 miles per hour. So again, this is Hurricane Eric. It is the fifth storm of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, and it is now a category two hurricane expected to become a major hurricane before it makes landfall. So we are watching that storm, and as it moves inland, it has a lot of moisture with it, pushing up against more mountainous terrain. This leads to heavy rainfall, the potential for flash flooding, the potential for mudslides and landslides and all of that as it starts to move inland. But uh, that is certainly something that we're keeping our eyes on, even though that's not going to directly impact us here in Georgia.